Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, my fellow YouTubers, Facebookians. Welcome to another edition of Living Simply and Fun. I would have gotten very far in my video if it wasn't for Aaron lifting his butt and farting and then laughing all about it. Then I had to restart the video. So my apologies to you video watchers of hearing me vent for a second about Aaron and his nasty gas. And I'm sorry if you hear the, uh, the dog barking as well. So... Tonight, me and Aaron are going to be watching a movie together called Into the Wild. We have several videos we wanted to watch. And since we got done early, I do want to say when I was outside at the park, a cherry fell off uh, onto the bench, and I didn't know it. So when I was feeling around wondering what was next to me that was pretty hot, I found out and I burned my finger. Earlier when I was having dinner, I cut my finger on my Swiss Army knife. When I was trying to get all the meat off of the rest of the ham bone, he just wanted to throw the ham bone away. And the ham bone alone had enough meat to feed a homeless person one meal by itself. So, anyways, my finger is hurting like hell, but here's the video I'd like to make for you all. Uh, first of all, there's people out there, I'm going to say it first, uh, that trying to steal my identity and errands. Yeah. Anyways, trying to steal my identity. If you're going to be doing these jokes, you might as well pull a chair up. Trying to steal my identity and, um, frankly, trying to make me look like I am a hater of transgendered people. Now, as Aaron knows and I know, I'm not a hater of transgendered people. I don't like them deceiving and having all the surgeries. And then complaining to the government needing to have, um, what do you call it, um, more benefits for them when they get the crap kicked out of them. Because the guy found out he put his, his penis into an inverted penis, into a man-made vagina. Now, for all of you out there, I'm not a hater of transgender people. Never have been. I don't like deceivers and I don't like liars. So... What I wanted to say to you all is I'm not a hater of transgendered people. I do hate people that put down other transgendered people. Yes, I've done it from time to time under deceiving. But I also want to say in the bottom of my heart that um, I don't like people posting things online saying stuff like they want to be male and they want to have a vag. I'm sorry to say, but if that's the case, a doctor should not be giving you uh, GRS surgery, SRS, to give you a badge because that's all you want. You like the feeling of a female vagina. I'm sorry, but that is wrong, and I get disgusted by it. Now, as far as me and this whole thing with uh, Cigar Addict, basically suggesting uh, that uh, I go through with the, uh, the surgeries and have Medicare take care of it, yes, I'm working on it. That I'm going to tell you. It's not going to be easy, mind you. And whatever I do, I'm going to be having to help myself as well as advocate, and Aaron's going to have to work with me, as he said, to advocate for other transgender people so we can get this process done smoothly with no problem. The Medicare process and the Medicaid Advantage process is not going to be easy to get done. So for some of you out there saying, oh, well, Medicare shouldn't pay. Well, at first, my heart said Medicare should be looking at the elderly first, not transgender patients. But if it's equal, then it's fine. I just don't want to see the elderly getting hurt and then we, the transgender persons, getting the flack for it. Uh, I also want to say I'm sorry about, uh, again, about doctors. There is doctors that will do GRS. There is doctors that might do breast augmentation, FFS. Uh, the masculine facial surgery, MAS, I believe it's called, or MFS. And, uh, you know, GRS for male to fem or female to males and male to females, as well as utero and hysterectomy and so forth. You know, someone asked me if female males will include a penile implant. That's between the doctor and the patient. That's all I can gather. But the bottom line is my apologies if you all think that I am a hater. I'm not a hater. Never have been. 
I live my life. I've lived 16 years. In 16 years, I've seen so much go on. I've watched Oprah. I've watched Geraldo. I've watched Jerry Springer. I've watched Montel Williams, uh, Jenny Jones, uh, that Rachel lady or whatever her name was. All these people, Lisa Rachel or something, Rachel Lisa. Pfft. Anyways, the point is I've watched all the soap operas, Oprah, and they all sometimes belittle and put the transgendered people down. Now, Ricky mind Lake. you, huh? Ricky Lake. Ricky Lake. There you go. Thank you, Aaron. Now, with all that said, she was also in the the movie. Uh, I think it was Soap Dish. I soap think. Dish. Yes. So the point is, is before my movie starts, I want to apologize. To all of you thinking, and some of you out there trying to steal my identity, it seems, as Aaron and I figured out, the, that, um, that, um, you know, I'm not an advocate of transgendered rights. I am. Heck, I fought in two legal battles and lost. And it was all for, in the name of transgenderism. So technically, if you want to get technical, that's what I've done. And technically, it was not... Um, not easy. So, um, there you have it. So, I will keep you all, uh, what do you call it, um, reported periodically on transgendered issues and let you know what I have found out. And so, I will keep you all briefed and I'll keep giving you updates from time to time. Now, I will tell you, I have no clue what I'm going to be putting this under topics, but I will figure something out, or I'll ask Aaron for advice. So, with that said, please uh, remember I'm not a hater of anyone. If you think I am, it's just the way I see how the transgendered women are trying to be more foofy, not themselves, and etc. However, I will mind you in this video... Being themselves is their own ways. If they want to say or be foofy or, uh, you know, saying stuff that trying to rile or try to be a genetic woman who has the same class of what they want in a man, then they're not going to find anyone because, well, look at me and Aaron. Aaron's a good-looking man. Uh, he's growing his beard again. I think he should keep it no. clean shaven. A anyways, I have something to say. That's why I came. Good. Um, I, I just want to say there's a, for some people it seems anymore that there's a very fine line between, you know, hating and just speaking passionately about something mm. where you're trying to iterate something and express your feelings, but not to the point of hatred. You're just ranting about it. Ranting and complaining, whatever, it doesn't necessarily hate. It depends on how you word it. You don't hear us using vulgarity or saying anything derogatory or saying anybody needs to suffer any pain or su uh, hurting. It's just sometimes there's something that it's like we're trying to express. It just comes out maybe the way that you think that it's hating because I'm speaking loud or using animated gestures. Or... It's something I do. Because... I know that sometimes while talking, how many YouTube videos have you watched where you turn it on and you're like, and you crank up the volume on your computer and you're like, oh, I can't hear anything. The audio sucks. And you even have to comment how many times, you know, the audio is terrible. I couldn't hear a thing. Well, I don't want to be unheard. So I figure that it's better to kind of speak a little louder. Also, if you've noticed the room, there's a wall behind us, there's a wall to this side, there's a wall to that side, and there's a desk in front of us that makes almost an entire wall. There's only a small area. This is a good sound chamber in here. I do want to say, for some of you out there that think that we are haters of different things, like genetic women who choose what they want for a guy or their own... Well, what do you call that? Their own... Um, uh, Oh, what's that word? Um, and, and another thing is that uh, I, I realize that my viewpoints aren't popular because, particularly with women, because Red Book and Vogue and Glamour and all these magazines for years and years and years have stated that if a man isn't uh, bringing in financially, he, he'd break up with them now because it's a doomed relationship. Uh, that, that's absolutely horrible for them to be posting. 
Uh, it says if you have no sex drive for your partner anymore, you need to break up with them and break up with them now because it's not going to end well. And, and these are just typical things that these magazines publish. And so every woman out there who reads these things think this is what a relationship is. That is not love. Love is when, in your heart, you don't want to be apart from that person. Uh, there's a, a case that I'm thinking of recently. There is a, a singer, I can't remember his name. He was on American Idol or uh, America's Got Talent or something like that. Uh, and he produced a song that's actually gone global and been a major hit on the record charts and everything. And uh, his girlfriend just beforehand, not too far before he was on there, ended up in a horrible car accident where she's like 50% paralyzed. One of her eyes won't even open. And she, she's not herself. But he loves her so much he's staying with her. They've been in a, engaged for like nine years. They haven't gotten married yet, but, you know, um, he's still with her. The, that is absolutely a beautiful thing. To, because you love a person... You can't turn your back on them in the worst. By Red Book and Glamour and all these, oh, they'll tell you the great stories about how this man sacrificed for this woman who's been in a coma now for eight years. But they'll also tell you five pages later that if your guy is now no longer able to take care of himself properly, leave his ass. Um, I so, just want to say for the genetic that's why women my and the genetic, genetic women and the trans women, they have a bill of sales, or as I call it, or a list of demands of what they want in a yeah. guy. And if the guy not, doesn't meet we've it... We've already talked about well, that, Well, exactly, though. but anyways, my I'm apology, just saying I can't compete with that rationale when it's been bled into the public and into the mainstream for, like, the last 60 years. It used to be where arranged marriages, you might not be happy with it at first, but most people ended up growing to love the person they were with because... If you're with someone every day, when they're not with you, you kind of start to feel like something's wrong. Now, you know, today, by today's standards, it's like, well, you're not doing enough for me. I'm not having fun anymore. Relationships aren't about fun. Fun is a bonus. Uh, sex is a bonus. Being attracted to each other is a bonus. Uh, being financially well off is a bonus. Um, but... Love, love shouldn't compromise and make love about the bonuses. And unfortunately, that is what modern civilization has been doing to us. Popular culture. And so I know my viewpoints are very unpopular, and I'm outspoken about them. It doesn't mean that I hate the women or think all women are shallow. I understand where they're coming from. It's in their breeding from being kids and reading these magazines and being told by their parents and the girls at school they all talk heck i remember this game where are you gonna live what uh, what type of guy are you gonna marry how much money are you gonna have everybody wanted the money the uh the attractive guy or the guy that they thought was the hottest guy in their class they all wanted the mansion and they all wanted the limousine but sometimes it didn't work out that way but um, yeah, exactly. It's and, even you know, in the my, games. My apologies for any of you thinking I'm a hater of genetic women or uh, or uh, trans uh, people. I'm not a hater. Like I just said in this video, I'm an advocate of the transgender people. I'm going to be advocating and fighting like hell on the Medicare front. I don't know which way I'm going to be going, but heck, it's going to be an interesting ride. Anyways... These are our opinions. Yes. You don't our... like our opinions. You don't have to get belligerent and angry with us. You can just say, hey, I don't agree with your opinions. Yes. You don't have to sit there and, well, we've beaten a dead horse on this. Yes. I, well, anyways... I just came into the video to say, to, because Rita brought it up, she doesn't hate anybody. And, and it could come out that way just because well, of the way that we... Well, look at Cindy 1981. You have inner... Hatred and, and pent up in you and it, anger. It's part of the way we project our voice. It's part of the way that we sit there and defend our viewpoint. Um, and how we explain things, how we express things, which we're not all great. We're not all perfect in our wording. There's so many other ways I wish I could express what I'm saying, but I do the best I can. Exactly. And you know what? Some of these people that are haters out there, I don't see them expressing their viewpoints in videos. In fact, the people that we've had that have complained about us recently, not one of them has a video that they are actually in. However, I know the reason for that is all three of them are the same person. 
I have now got uh, absolute perfect confirmation on that uh, due to a little thing of we had one video that had one view but three comments on it from all three which means it was watched once and they were all from the same state and that same state if you didn't know because you don't have any videos you can check the demographics of where your videos are being watched from and all three uh, all three people are watching from the same state so if we have three views and three comments and they all happen to be the same state we know so um, anyways uh, that's just me saying again you, you need to understand how YouTube works if you're gonna sit there and try to bash someone and make them feel horrible which you did a very good job with me because I have a disability and that disability is that I don't take very well to people intimidating threatening me harassing me yelling at me screaming at me etc but um, now that I know you're a bunch of fakers it doesn't even bother me so so anyways there you have it so if anyone's trying to steal our, our identity it failed with that said please add and subscribe please post comments feedback suggestion thank you and may God bless the world